Jeder kennt die Notwendigkeit. Everyone knows the necessity of documentation of brewery products directly from the production area. In addition to the usual batch reports, which Braumat has already integrated into the system, the operator can compile comprehensive reports himself in a few minutes by using the PM Quality module. We call this end-to-end -end reporting while still maintaining flexibility during production. The reports created with PM Quality can contain messages, trend curves, snapshots, manual input values, barcodes or QR codes and can also be embedded in a customer report layout with images. My colleague Horst Fuchs will now show you how such a report can be quickly compiled with Baumart and PM Quality. So, yeah, Jürgen. Thank you, Jürgen. Today we'll be looking at an example of how to combine Braumat C Star with PM Quality. PM Quality is an option from the PM add-ons, and we use it here to compile complex high-quality reports, brewing reports, and show the user the data that has accumulated during the processing of a batch. Here we see an example. The great thing about PM Quality is that we can combine a wide range of result views, for example trend curves, alarms accumulated during the session, normal standard step protocols, and also our key up events or key operation events, which we configured earlier. Many of you may still remember that we can use Braumat to create and present corresponding reports at Excel level. The configuration of these reports can also be used for PM quality, which means that the data that accumulates here will also be seen one-to-one -one in the report, without having to create a corresponding link again in SQL for example. This data arrives one-to-one. -one. But let's start from the beginning. How does this data actually arrive in PM Quality? You know that at Braumat level, our data initially ends up, sometimes redundantly, in both servers. These are the stamp protocols, alarms, change logs, trends. Everything is initially logged here locally. From here we can first activate the standard SQL adapter, which means, depending on the selection, I can now also forward this data one-to-one -one directly to an SQL database. And if we click here, we see the corresponding options. We have tank history, batch protocols and so on. This data in the SQL Brauma database is processed accordingly and adapted to the PM quality format, meaning that more or less everything that is available to me on Braumat is now also available in PM quality. As I said, this is initially managed by our SQL adapter on CSTAR. In terms of SQL, we have the Servers Configurator in which I can also see which data is currently being received. So I would see all batch step protocols here. And then I know that it's working. Then we have the PM Quality Runtime tool. Here too, I still have some engineering to do. We've also got the Topology Manager. But Braumat also offers an extra menu item that I can use to set where this extracted data, the special extracted data that only Braumat or CSTAR knows and not PM Quality yet, will be read out and integrated into the PM Quality database. Ultimately, 
The aim is to use this data view to identify the incoming and processed badges. In other words, if these are shown here in green and with a check mark, we know that the badge is finished and the corresponding data has arrived in PM quality. We can then process it in reports. So there's a reporting tool here. I can create new reports here. From the selection of existing tables, trends and so on, I drag the corresponding information into the report view to be created. There are some great features, such as create QR code. You can use this to print a QR code on the report that contains relevant information. You can scan this QR code with your smartphone and you will then see information about your badge. Let's take a look at this. Trends, step protocols and a corresponding QR code. Of course, we want to improve the aesthetics a little. To do this, I have already prepared a couple of reports. The reports are organized into subsystem-related reports. In other words, for one unit. In this case, reports for the mesh vessel. At the top here, I received the list of previously received badges, organized into area and PCU, with corresponding subsystem number, badge number, and so on. Here we can see the corresponding trend progression. In other words, the level and temperature, standard step protocol, standard change locks, and standard alarms for the mesh vessel, complete with QR code with relevant information. But I can also map the whole thing on the recipe procedure. In other words, combine several subsystems in one report. Let's take a look at this report in detail. This is our current batch. I select the finished one. So here we see the trends again. I'm using trends from several units. And once again, the group alarm, step protocols and now also the events. Let's be honest, in the end it all comes down to whether I really want to display alarms and standard step protocols in a report. It's a lot of data, which I might find overwhelming. So it would make sense to limit myself to the key operation parameters. This is exactly the choice I made earlier. I don't want to see any machine data. I only want to record temperatures, quantities and times. So here I have another batch report limited to trends, including these key OPs. In other words, this is basically the essence of what I have just done in the meshing processes with my mold quantities, temperatures and of course also the information about when a certain subsystem is involved or started in the process and when it is finished. There is something else, a special feature concerning material movements. I can also have a separate report generated for this. This is relevant for tracking and tracing. So if we take another look at the recipe, I have certain steps that we call material movements. They start with move underscore name. This is also already marked and filtered out here in our CSTAR proxy. A more or less separate table is created with step protocol entries that are limited only to the material transfers. These pre-filtered material transfers are precisely what I have presented here in a table or report in PM quality, in which I see which material comes from which batch and ends up in another one accordingly. 
So, as you can see, with PM Quality, even the brewer can easily create brewing protocols or tank reports and use this simple drag and drop engineering to improve or maintain existing reports. Thank you. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.